So I feel like I haven't given you guys an update in quite a long time because I've been making so many programming videos with Python for beginners that I haven't had a chance to really talk to you about like where I'm at with my like business and career and all that sort of stuff. So that's what the vi this video is and in this video I'm also going to talk about how I accidentally almost sort of moved to Manchester and then ended up commuting to Bath. So uh, that's pretty much where I'm at at the moment and basically the reason that I started uh, thinking I was going to move to Manchester was I, I put my CV online just after I got back from America and at this time I was still working on Panda full time and I didn't really realise that it was such a recruitment dri driven industry so I started applying to lots of jobs just because uh, basically I needed to I needed money because uh, that the first video on my channel uh, is titled something like how I spent my life savings and that's literally I mean that's completely true I spent all the money I had and so many people are gonna think well that's just a ridiculous thing like why would you spend so much money on something that's apparently so useless or just you know some people say like it's almost an expensive holiday even though it's you know I say it's not but um, I did relax a lot and I did enjoy like my time in America and stuff like that but I did spend a lot of money and the reason for me looking for a job now is because I needed to, I needed money because I had none basically and I thought that was fine so I was just going to come back to America, get a job, program some stuff and work on Panda part time and I thought that would be sort of a fair sort of thing to do because uh, it's, it's quite obvious that like with no money I can't really afford to live so uh, that's that was really my only option but also I actually really wanted to start learning more about programming because I've I've sort of self-taught as I've mentioned multiple times in this channel that I've never had a sort of formal programming lesson in my life so I did decide to get a job largely for that reason and you know to try to teach myself how to code much much quicker than I could on my own because I have that sort of support of the of the software development team that I'd be working with so I got must have been at least five phone calls on the Monday which was the first working day after I did all the applications uh, through I think it was through job site mostly and indeed and some other job sites stuff like that also Stack Overflow Careers was a good place because it's a really good place for software development uh, jobs on there like they have a job section but I did that and then I got loads of phone calls and within uh, a day really in, within two days I had you know two or three interviews I think I had three interviews in the first two days uh, just because my CV was online and it's a recruitment driven industry so they're trying to find programmers because as I said in multiple videos on this channel previously that you know it's a recruitment driven industry it, it's 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 because the developers are in demand so it's it's really kind of I wouldn't say easy but if you have the right skill set people are going to want to hire you it's really it is really as simple as that even though it might not necessarily sound like that sometimes if if for whatever reason you haven't been able to get a job but so I put my CV online and then within you know two days I had like three interviews and one of them was in Manchester so um, I, I drove up to there basically, uh, three hours away in Manchester, and I did this interview. And I mean, I won't go into too much detail, but they ended up sort of thinking about it, and then I went home again, and then they offered me the job. So they wanted me to start sort of as soon as possible, and I also had another interview later on that week. So I said, okay, I'll start the following Monday because that gave me a chance to be able to do that interview and really at this point I, I assumed nothing was going to come of the other interviews so I said to the first company that I'd accept the job right um, little sort of word of advice don't accept the job until you've done all the interviews that you've planned to do um, because then you'll just end up disappointing, disappointing at least one company which is what happened to me so I unfortunately well, I wouldn't say unfortunately, but I I did have to decline sort of moving to Manchester with that first company because I did get an offer from the second, or I think it was like the third or fourth interview, uh, but it was it was a much better opportunity. So 
I mean, in this situation, if you're ever in this situation, you really have to do what's right for you. You can't say, you know, oh well this recruiter said some really good things about this company so even though it's not right for me necessarily, it's, you know, I get really great benefits or whatever. You have to do what makes you happy and I chose the job offer that was the most suited to what I really, really wanted to do. I'm not saying it was necessarily a higher or lower pay, but the most important thing to me was that I was working with pretty much technologies that I wanted to work with, and also, uh, you know, offices and, you know, just work in a nice place, basically, with nice people and stuff like that. And fair play to both companies that I, I ended up getting offers from because the offices and the people in them were absolutely fantastic so I have nothing against any of the companies because they're, they're all really fantastic people a lot of them were like musicians as well and stuff like that and we were talking about guitar and stuff um, for those of you don't, that don't know I play guitar um, quite a bit but yeah there's just so many cool people that I met sort of through going through that process even the recruiters I mean sure they get paid basically to be nice to people but uh, I, I did meet some genuinely good people and like uh, you know we stay in touch a couple with a couple of them so uh, there are actually good people out, out there in terms of like the recruitment industry I know it gets a bad name because it's really pushy sometimes but uh, it's, it was a really good process to go through I think and so I, I did end up going with the second offer as I said which is in Bath so at the moment I just commute there. I have a car and I drive each day. It's about one and a half hours to Bath, so I do drive quite a bit. But to be honest, I'm really happy with it. I really enjoy working in Bath because it's it's just a fantastic uh, city. It's really beautiful in my opinion. And uh, as I said, the offices and the people and the uh, you know just just area in general. It's just it's really really nice place to work. So that's currently what I'm doing. And probably, arguably, for me, the most important thing about this job, uh, you know, my first real job, I had a little job in retail before, but this is my first real job, and it's just such a fantastic learning opportunity. Because for me, in my opinion, this is so much better than university, and so much better than, you know, any coding boot camp or anything like that, because I learned so much more on the job than I would ever be able to do any university degree or something similar like that just because it's in the industry and you, you are only going to learn the skills in industry by working in the industry you know some university degrees sort of try to incorporate this by doing you know a four year degree with a year in industry at least in the UK um, that's how it sometimes works if you, if you choose a course like that but you know even then you only get one year and and in that time I could have spent four years in industry so it just didn't make sense for me personally to do that. Uh, I managed to actually start the job from going to put my CV online um, I, so I did it on the Monday which was the first working day after I made all the applications. I basically applied over the weekend and then uh, you know the recruiters started work on Monday so uh, I started work the Monday three weeks after that point so uh, it would have been two if I'd have taken the first offer but the uh, the second company that I ended up going going with uh, wanted another week to sort of get my setup sorted and do the administration and that sort of stuff. So for me, overall, it took three months sorry three weeks to be able to get that full time programming job. And quite frankly, I'm really happy with it. So the position that I ended up going with was a full stack developer position which is, uh, for those of you that don't know the sort of terminology with programming, is basically a uh, person that makes websites um, as opposed to the other job which was an iOS developer and that would have been working with Swift which is Apple's programming language so for iPhone and I iPad apps and you know watch OS and tvOS that was like the first offer that I ended up declining uh, that was not really to do with the fact that it was in Manchester more just because the second offer in my opinion was a better fit for me so uh, the mor moral of the story in my opinion is just sort of you have to do the things that you know are gonna work for you the best like you don't have to listen to what everyone else is saying and just do what they're saying 
you know, without taking your own personal sort of opinion and saying the matter into account. Obviously, it's, it's still important to listen to those people and, you know, even the recruiters to some extent, they, they can tell you a lot of lies, so just be aware of that. But, you know, the actual employers are often really nice people and they'll answer all the questions that you have. Don't be afraid to ask questions in your interviews and, you know, if you do, if you do that, then really you're going to be fine with getting a job in the software in industry. So, at least that was my experience, and I thought I'd share that. Um, it was pretty crazy and very very stressful for the, you know, one or two weeks or so where I was booking like interview after interview. You know, especially that first week where my applications were sort of going through the recruiters and. Uh, my phone was just ringing non-stop and I was sorting emails. I just couldn't keep up with my inbox and stuff and that was crazy, but um, yeah, so that's just a quick update. So I'm going to keep making the programming tutorials, so get subscribed if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.